Soldiers in the streets of Ukraine are usually met with gratitude and respect. But if you're a draft officer, people cross the street to avoid you. Here, they're looking for men of fighting age and then checking to see if they're registered. Russian advances have Ukraine considering an expansion of the draft. Draft officer Maxim Lutchenko says the lines of people volunteering at the start of the war have disappeared along with their motivation. Lutchenko is himself already a veteran, shot and injured while trying to defend Avdivka, a city in the east recently lost to the Russians at great cost. Having gone through that, I can understand people who are afraid to go to war, he says. But if not us, who will defend our country's sovereignty? His colleague, Oleksandr Sereda, 53, says the battle needs fit young soldiers. The average age now estimated to be more than 40 years old. Ukrainian army, elder army, it's a pity. Recruitment ads play to the near-universal hatred of Russia's invading army. But Ukraine's troops remain exhausted with no fixed rotation. The head of Ukraine's military intelligence, Kirillo Budanov, is known for his creative use of drones in rattling Russia. But he knows there are no substitute for ground troops. Until a soldier comes and plants a flag in the ground, he says, nothing will change. The students on the steps of Shevchenko University in Kyiv look like they have the world at their feet. But they live in a country at war. I think that everyone is uh, scared now, and uh, I'm uh, one of them. Danilo Nalivka is 17, a decade away from the current conscription age, but the government is considering lowering it to 25. Uh, yes, I'm scared, but uh, if uh, I have to, I, uh, I will uh, defend my country. Others believe the war might still be being fought a decade from now. A frozen war? I'm very afraid to have frozen war in my country. They also say they're hoping that Ukraine's allies in the West won't let them lose. Margaret Evans, CBC News, Kyiv.